Thank you so much, uh, the technical team. Uh, and uh, with all the accolades, and I think uh, we have not been able to do justice as uh, uh, Professor Kaur would agree with me to this enormous list of accomplishments which Professor F.B. Khan has. Uh, but uh, I would just like to point out, you know, the pride that I feel because I have been personally mentored by him when I was a student at AJK Mass Communication Center, Jamia Milia Islamia. So really honored and privileged to have you here, sir, and accept the award over to you. Uh, uh, for your deliberation and uh, for your uh, 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 note and, uh, you know, your presidential address. Thanks a lot, Ghazala, and really happy to be among you all. And uh, I'm really proud that uh, MCRC is churning out your kind of people, which include Pulitzer Prize winners and a um, lot of those award people know. Uh, I'm really humbled with the with with the award which you have chosen to chosen me for this, and uh, uh, so uh, so let's uh, start on on what uh, uh, we were talking about, and uh, uh, I think uh, uh, I I have a presentation I j just made it uh, here, and so I would like to quickly go, go over that presentation and uh, say that uh, I would be like, like in today's world, we are multitasking. So the time is only 10 minutes. So I'll be multitasking with the slides. And so there would be some written material, something I would be speaking. So please allow me to present uh, my uh, presentation. Sure, about, sir. please, please uh, go ahead. Professor Khan will be speaking on media and democracy in India. Uh, so, I've, uh, so this is uh, so uh, for today's uh, uh, lecture. I would uh, like to just say that you all know that uh, we are um, uh, a, a huge amount of. A, a big me media ecosystem in which we uh, live and, um, you know, um, uh, there are media users which are like, uh, uh, they are publication where they are 100,000, uh, there are core number of copies which are about 240 million copies, internet users, there are, you know, there are 448 million social media users. And these people engage uh, with, with all the media. And that's very unique thing about India that uh, even print literacy is going up as it is not receding in other countries, but here it's going up. And there are people who are reading news on the internet and they spend about two hours and 26 minute, and there are people who are who watch TV, which is three three hour sixteen minutes, which is a huge engagement. And with that engagement, uh, I uh, and we know that the role of media ha uh, has entirely changed, and it now focusing more on selling and entertaining rather than bringing pe people. Um, you know, closer and uh, spread awareness. And probably this forum is much needed to do that. And uh, we all know and we discussed that uh, this is this whole idea of when we moved from a model, which was um, earlier a fee-based broadcasting system to a, you know, uh, an a, a media which is run on, advertisement and TRPs, things changed and uh, and still people are looking at revenue models and which would fund these uh, and they when we are thinking and I'm also contributing in some forums about what the new uh, model for uh, funding these media TRPs and uh, other things can't fund a robust a media which is uh, right now with us so this is uh, 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 this is what is happening with the commercialization that uh, now we are 
you know we the journalism and uh, the journalism that true journalism when we uh, uh, we speak to power and uh, call a spade a spade is now changing and um, so this is P. Sainath saying this. Now the leaders are also creating their own bigger, uh, you know, uh, niche where they are speaking directly to the to people. And uh, so there's another phenomena which is happening. The other thing about the climate change is that in you know in in uh, uh, 2006 to 2018 there was a constant kind of increase in the coverage, but uh, today after 2020, very strangely, even because the COVID was there, but uh, we uh, were looking at the you know the coverage started decreasing, shrinking. In India, also it 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 gone much below in in at least in 1920 it was quite low where we see climate news mostly on television uh, which is not a very viewed medium compared to other mediums uh, online uh, um, from major news organization contribute only 15 percent then uh, and the least are social media posts printed newspaper, radio, these are the places where these news are not, uh, you know, we are not uh, looking at these news. This whole idea of misinformation, uh, uh, as rightly told by esteemed panelists, uh, uh, in 2021, we got, to the, you know, the, the fake news coverage uh, became to 214 uh, percent. The fake news about uh, this uh, uh, global social media misinformation on COVID rose to 18 percent. We became number one in forwarding messages on WhatsApp and mostly WhatsApp forwards as all, all of us know are, are fake. Now what, what's, what is the whole harm of fake uh, fake news is actually, as uh, we all know, is manipulated by um, uh, people and uh, with vested interest. Uh, they are not real people. Sometimes they are bots. Sometimes they are, you know, fake accounts. And one person would be ha handling several accounts to do this. And but this whole idea of fake news is assumes importance because uh, this the priming done by the fake news number one changes the perception number two that the response to real news diminishes and everything becomes so confused that a direct constructive message does not find trust in people so that is the bigger long term harm these uh, 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 these propaganda list would do to the entire ecosystem now uh, if i uh, go to the the, the, the I, I look with a lot of interest this edelman's trust uh, barometer uh, which each year come out with a trust uh, you know report the 2020 trust was competence and ethics and uh, I think we have to take these two into consideration uh, if we have to do a effective media coverage on climate change. The, it should not be done with a with some kind of crisis communication, and uh, and where you know uh, people with ethical framework uh, should be uh, you know highlighted and. Uh, and, and a newer strategy need to be uh, be put. Now, visuals are, are, are assuming huge importance in this era. Everybody understand that tweets with images receive, you know, several times, uh, you know, more for, you know, retweets, likes, and other things. If you look, the, you know, 300 hours of video are uploaded every minute. 
5 billion uh, video views per day on YouTube. These are like huge numbers. And I will again say that images, because they directly communicate to you without barrier uh, of lot of thing. Of course, you require a context. If without a context, uh, the images don't do anything. But if you give a certain kind of context, they are uh, they directly go into into your you know uh, and you, you think about it and it becomes your own personal view. So these uh, uh, visuals need to come in forefront in all the campaign which are uh, based on. Uh, on communication uh, uh, plans for climate change. Uh, I, I did a huge study. It was a big study on, on why uh, Modi uh, won. And, uh, and I, I looked lot of, at a lot of newspapers, other side posters, uh, did a lot of interviews. And found out that uh, the photographs, his positioning there made a, made a huge role. And that positioning where you can see Modi with a lot of photos and all. So he was using, uh, you know, so there was visibility. So, uh, and we can learn a lot to do a climate change campaign like, uh, like this. The pictures were generating more interest. Uh, uh, it, they, they have a strong body language, varied facial expression, a strategic tone of the photographs. These are all, all created interest. And, the, and it was greatly focused campaign. So there were no several leaders. So on a climate change, we can actually strategize the information. So nowadays there's whole scattering of information. And there should be an agenda that these things need to be focused so that the one by one, we bring in a, a greater focus on those areas which uh, where we want to put attention. Of course, that would result in better retention, higher engagement, and deeper association with, with the presentation with this. And uh, really honored and happy to receive this uh, award. And uh, I would try to prove worthy of this in my future, uh, you know, whatever I do. Thank you.